Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Romans chapter 4, verse 11, Ruth chapter 4, verse 12, and Genesis chapter 6, verse 18. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you for the truth. Thank you for light. We love you. We praise you. We ask you to help us to hear clearly from you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Romans chapter four, verse 11. He received the sign of circumcision as a seal of righteousness that he had by faith while he was still uncircumcised. The purpose was to make him the father of all who believe without being circumcised so that righteousness would be counted to them as well. All right. And so this is um, just speaking of the fact that, you know, circumcision, the circumcision that Abraham went through and that people should go through in the Old Testament should not have been anything that was to make them righteous, right? They should have had relationship first in their heart. God wanted their relationships with them, right? When Abraham believed God, that was that was what was counted to him as righteousness. He believed God that when you believe somebody, that usually means that you have some sort of relationship with them. So when they tell you something, you believe them. When they when they show you um, uh, or when they speak to you and they say something and you by faith believe them, right? It, he believed God. He believed what God said. He believed um, God when he told him to leave her, right? And so that that's how Abraham walked in righteousness, not because um, it, it was accounted to him as righteousness, not because he was walking yet. He hadn't done anything outward yet. He believed God in his heart. And that's why we are the seed of Abraham, because we we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and we believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead and we are saved, right? It is it is through our faith in him. And so the outward sign of circumcision or our outward actions are just a byproduct of how we have believed on him already. That is what the righteousness comes from, is from God himself the accounting um, in heaven that God gives us, right? Um, it, it's like a credit in your account that you, the only thing you did was believe that the credit was there, right? You didn't actually do anything. You just believed that the credit was there, right? Hey, God, I believe what you said. You said you are God and I'm just going to walk by that. And, and his, his, the moment he said he believed the moment in his heart, he was believing that belief was accounted to him as righteousness, right? Not his actions. It was his belief. And so his actions came as a byproduct. The circumcision came as a byproduct, right, of what he had already believed. It says he received the sign of circumcision as a seal of the righteousness that he had by faith while he was still uncircumcised, right? And so God God knew and, and saw his heart first, right? He saw, and, and that was that was that was in his account that he was righteous, right? Because none of us are righteous by our own actions. We could never um, achieve that standard. We all fall short of the glory of God. Only Christ is the one who could achieve that standard. And so we we receive that righteousness based on our belief, like Abraham, our belief in Christ, right? And he and the Father are one. So when it says that Abraham believed God, that's the same thing as us believing um, what God said about Christ and believing on Christ, right? All right, it says he received the sign of circumcision as a seal of the righteousness that he had by faith while he was still circumcised. The purpose was to make him the father of all who believe without being circumcised so that righteousness would be counted to them as well. And so we know when we get baptized or or when we join the church, those are just 
outward signs of something that should have already taken place inside. All right. And so Ruth chapter four, verse 12, and may your house be like the house of Perez, whom Tamar bore to Judah because of the offspring that the Lord will give you by this young woman. And so there's a blessing to the house of God. There's a blessing on the bride. There's a blessing on the house of the bride. There's a blessing on the church. Why? Because she's covered. Right. That that righteous covering um, entitles us to being sons and daughters. Right. We are now married into this thing. We are are joined together with this thing. We are engrafted in. Right. And that's because of the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus that is on us. Right. And so um, there's a blessing. There's a breakthrough. There is a, a something coming over your house that is a good thing. Right. That's a breakthrough, even if it's unlikely. And that's what Tamar, of course, represents. It's unlikely. Right. She's fruitful. Even though it was unlikely, she didn't even have a husband anymore, right? She, yet she has these sets of twins. And remember, Perez means breakthrough. And so that's what is coming over our house. As, as Gentiles, through Christ Jesus, we are now engrafted. We are now engrafted into this thing. We are now blessed and able to walk into this thing, this blessing, come under this covering, receive this seal, right? Um, and, and it's not because of our own doing. It's because of our belief right? We believe God and it was accounted to us as righteousness. If you look at Ruth in the beginning, when she and Naomi were, were, um, going off, you know, she said, your God will be my God. Right. And, and she was accountable to that God, right? It wasn't just that she liked Naomi a lot. She was accountable to God. She said, your God will be my God. Right. And so she had forsaken the world. She had put away all that old and her allegiance in her heart, even before she was out in the field doing the work, the allegiance was in her heart to God. Right. So we have to believe God. We have to stay under this covering. Right. We have to stay with God and he's blessing us. He's bringing breakthrough to us, the unlikely ones. All right. And so Genesis chapter six, verse 18 is the third verse. But I will establish my covenant with you and you shall come into the ark, you and your sons and your wife your wife and your son's wives with you. Let me read that again. But I will establish my covenant with you and you shall come into the ark. You, your sons, your wife and your son's wives with you. God is putting a blessing of covering over us. He is passing over us. He is, he is blessing us to be a blessing. He is causing us to come into an ark of safety, right? That's our God. That's our King. He's doing it for us. He's doing it for you and your household, right? Your unlikely household. And yet God is doing a mighty and great and awesome thing. I love him so much because sometimes I look around and I think, why did I ever deserve any of this? But you know what? I don't deserve it. It's his goodness, right? We've come under a covering, a righteous covering that we did not deserve, but that he gave to us anyhow. Thank you, Father God, for covering us, covering our family and causing us to come into this beautiful ark of safety. There's an ark of safety that you're going into right now. If you believe, do you believe God? I have faith in God that he's gonna do this mighty thing right? We, we just have to trust in him. We have to believe him when he says it. Amen. He's giving us such a great opportunity. He's giving us such a great blessing in this ark of safety and in this inheritance that we're coming into. It, it's a real blessing. And we need to say, thank you. We need to say, God, forgive us for all of our sins. Help our, our lamp to be burning bright when you return, Lord God. Help us to look like your children, 
Lord God. We thank you for the righteous covering that we are coming under, Lord God. We could never um, achieve what it is that you, everything that you, you could have wanted through the law, but we thank you for Jesus, that he achieved it all. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that leads us and guides us into all truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, take care and be blessed.